Let's go straight to taking a look at the earnings. Earnings and more money in the pockets of uh, investors uh, uh, you know, investing in the capital market now. Let's begin from Stambik IBTC financial uh, full year report. Uh, bank posted about 81.06 billion naira in profit after tax in 2022 uh, financial, full financial year uh, from uh, 200 that's 287 rather point eight seven billion 2022 from 206 billion naira profit after tax uh 81.06 billion and uh, from that's from 56.97 billion in 2021 and then earning per share uh jump a little bit from four naira 20 kobo to six naira five kobo uh, in 2022 ambrose Talk to us about yeah. this. How impressive is yeah, this? Yeah, well, so if you look at the company uh, gross earnings, the top line there, I'll tell you that this is a good number for for the for the brand. And it, you know, they have been consistent in the first uh, you know, quarter this year, uh, last year, 2022, to the end. Mm. If you compare the performance of this bank in 2021 to what was what we saw in 2022, there's a great improvement. You can see that they are earning per share for the full year move from uh, what four naira twenty over to six naira five over. Because this is not a, a, a slight one. This is a, a great improvement. It mm. support, you know, in especially the high payment. And this company, uh, this bank, is going to have been consistent in that payout. And I believe that since they paid almost a one naira, you no know, interim, you no know, with this earnings of six naira, you no know, five kubo, I'm not expecting anything less than ten naira, you know, three naira to four naira from this bank. And you know, because mm. also their shareholding structure is tight, I expect that the foreign investor will also be happy. And the good thing that. When you are paying this for investor in, in this kind of bank, they don't just take the money because there's an opportunity for them to invest. Recently, they, they kind of extended their business to insurance. You know, and this insurance also because that's what I was to drive. What could have driven this growth? You know, from four naira twenty uh, you know, uh, uh, and uh, 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 any per share in 2021, and then to six naira five kobo. You know, when when it comes to uh, what we'll call the whole financial sector or market. Right. I, I, which is play in all. They are, mm. they are in stock broking, they are, they are in banking, they are in insurance, they are in pension. No, that means they are like a, a, a supermarket of, of, of financial products. For me, this is also showing on their number. And also, because also their share in issue is very small, also right. seeing it on their earnings. But even that they are consistent, like I tell you that this one of the bank I said are defensive, no stock in the banking stock. Look at all the movement stock up and down. This stock didn't go below no 28 naira. No, I mean, stable at that price. Come on, that. The bank is also the shareholding structure of the bank has mm -hmm. been part of what is supporting them because about almost uh, 62 to you know 64 percent so for the is uh, yeah. in, in the foreign uh, investor. For me, I believe that that has uh, supported them. Also, don't forget that last year we didn't see more of uh, foreign, uh, you know, foreign uh, transaction. But no matter the little that you know, happened in the market last year, because this uh, uh, most of the foreign investors use Stambik as also as a you know a, a firm or a be where they transact. That's part of it. I also don't forget also, we saw this, uh, uh, what's it called, all this um, you know, cross-border cross or dual listing transaction, life of uh, ETA, mm. you know, others like, um, you know, um, ETI. All these companies are also what uh, they can take advantage of it, you know, for, for, uh, for Stambik. For Stambik, for me, it's been a, you know, a good okay. bank consistent in their payment. But we saw that last 2021, there was a slowdown, but 2022, they changed. Also, don't forget that the, uh, the CBM policy, I think mm. the plus for the bank. I know when I you know went through the, the all the bank results, go and check their net income. You know their net income, you know, as a uh, interest income has improved. Has that improved this has also well. have a worth also imparting okay. them. And for me, it's a plus for all the bank. And that's what we'll see in those high caps. We're expecting especially those uh, first year bank first year. If or was seen all this one, I show us where they are going. I give an mm. investor an insight what you expect from Zinet Bank, GT Bank, UBA, and also mm. assets. But well, I think yeah. Stambik, you know, one of the number that's outstanding in the market. Yeah. We're pressed for time, Ambrose, but I'm afraid. Let's quickly look at this uh, Fidelity Bank financial uh, year uh, earnings. Uh, bank posted about 335.9 billion naira in total turnover, uh, with earnings per share, you know, rising from 123 kobo in 2021 to 163 kobo. Then you have um, FCMB as well earnings uh, as company profit after tax uh, went up by 32.5 billion in 2022 to uh, from 20.92 billion in 2021 and if you look at their earnings per share as well uh, it's also very good talking about uh, uh fcmb uh from 105 kobo to 164 kobo maybe if you look at these two bank before we wrap up quickly no, I'll tell you, the number from these two banks are, mm. are really strong number. These are impressive uh, performance for the bank. Despite their own data account, investor 
in this uh, banks or outside the market have seen that right. there's opportunity for these banks to you know, to pay a good dividend. Especially, you know, if you look at what is happening in FCMB, for me, I see a good potential in FCMB. FCMB, if you look at their share of this structure, it's also very small. And if you are seeing at any pressure of almost the same thing or a bit higher than that of uh, no, if it is about one naira sixty four sixty kobo, yes. YCMB is one naira sixty four kobo, and so it is giving us, let's say, because at this point now we are looking at dividend income, and that's what we are looking at this any season. Mm. That's what I'm talking about in dividend. If you look at the any per share of uh, fidelity one naira no sixty three kobo, and so it is giving us already ten kobo as entry dividend. But what of you know FCMB? FCMB has a one naira sixty four kobo for full year. No, it has not given us no uh, any dividend for other interim. For me, if from this earnings, and I will tell you that. For these earnings, nothing less than 40 kubo should come because if a company is having um, one that is 12 kubo and you pay 50 kubo as dividend, you are retaining about uh, one that is 10 kubo as uh, no retail earnings. That's, for that's me, right. that will also impact the price of what of the stock. I believe that the banks are uh, management or board are listening because that is what we need to encourage uh, you know, shareholders. Before now, these banks have been so conservative in their payment. But yeah. these earnings, we expect them to, to change because before now, even this um, Fidelity Bank has also been conservative in their payment. We saw last year Fidelity pay about uh, 35 kubo any per share before giving us um, no 10 kubo in 2022, 221, 35 kubo. If uh, FCMB is having about 164 kubo, I don't mm -hmm. see them paying anything less than uh, 50 kubo. If they do 50 kubo, that would be tough for the company. Of course, if you have one error, and, and there's more money in the pockets of investors. No, that's more confidence for <laughs> investors in, 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 in the bank. But the numbers okay. from FCMB and from Fidelity. Yeah. Ah, impressive number. It's a good okay. one. It tells yeah. investor that the banking sector have maintained that consistency in, what, in terms of performance and also mm. once you perform, you pay. And in terms of dividend, no consistency, the banking sector have standards, um, you know, stood out in the market because of what they constantly pay dividend. In, in 30 seconds, uh, let, let's do it. Your, your outlook um, as regards the uh, more earnings expected in the market next week. Yeah, from the ones we have seen, I'll tell you the beat the market expectation so far. Mm. That account. Then if that trend is you no know, translated to the auditor because I believe that those companies also have seen their third quarter results right. so to see more you no know, better earnings and that will you know, that's why I said next week might see a turnaround in the market on the strength of expected uh, number. Mm.